Well, what a great morning. Not only am I getting a great opportunity to show uh, the new gear, but Carpology magazine are here, and what a great bunch of lads they are. So lads, I'll quickly whip you around and show you what we've got on offer this year. First of all, this is our sort of bank life area, with the main focus being the T1 Extreme Canopy. Um, we've sold a lot of Titans over the last couple of years and had a huge amount of demand for additional space. So inside there, you've got a T1, but you've got this great big extension porch, where inside there, you can easily fit a couple of chairs, all your cooks, where uh, a big table for example, a nice spacious compartment to look out, view the water for those guys on longer sessions. Couple that with a couple of really great organisers. Uh, moving a bit further down, here you can see a T1 uh, Titan and a T2. Main difference being we've put a really awesome camo completely over them, including the mesh vent, uh, vents at the front. We've added this additional peak here. A number of anglers noticed that there was a slight pooling issue, so just to compensate that, you've now got perfect water runoff. So for those guys that really like to blend in with their bankside surroundings, yeah, T1 Camo Titan, T2 Camo Titan. Bit further down here, Ranger Dwarf. Dwarf's been incredibly popular for us, along with Scope over the last few years. For sure, the anglers really understand the concept of it now. It was never developed as a stalking range. It was all about fishing, the type of waters you're fishing on, um, and it's more convenient and practical for moving around venues and stuff. So uh, the range consists of six, nine, and 10 foot rods, and here you've got the associating uh, luggage to go with it. A couple of rucksacks, a couple of different size unhooking mats, and the rod skins. Um, real star of the show for me, and obviously something I'm mad passionate about myself, and yeah, Mikey and myself developed over the last sort of 18 months, is a brand new range of scope. Um, up until this year, we've had two ranges. We had a green range and the black ops range. We've now amalgamated that into to one range. Um, yeah, and there's some incredible bits here. Everything from a dedicated RT rucksack to store three ready-made up rods. You can carry that on your back, use it as a carry-all, carry it on shoulder straps. Um, really lovely range of rod skins that have been fined down. And just simple details, guys, like how often do you actually use these handles here? Well, now we've made them fit inside, and when you do want them, you can take them out and use them. Just made things a lot sleeker, a lot more compact, which is part of the ethos behind the scope range. Obviously, dedicated uh, sawn off and nine and 10 foot rod skins, real pouches, tip tops, uh, and sort of three main rucksacks in the range, whether you're a sort of day session angler or you genuinely travel incredibly light, something like this might appease to you. Um, nice main spacious compartment, EVA bay, um, it comes supplied with this cute little bivy tray that you can use to tie rigs on and stuff and you can actually clip in your shoulder straps to these additional buckles here um, and then actually double it up as a tiny sort of bivy table where you can store that on like so. Um, so that's the smallest rucksack in the range. You've got the ruckle type bag that I love using. You can detach it, store it underneath your bed chair right up to a huge great rucksack that will literally accommodate everything. This is for the guy maybe fishing those bigger waters where getting round of a barrow is just not possible. We've made it with a rigid frame so it stands up freestanding. And what can be quite annoying with a bag of this sort of size is you throw all your gear inside it and then realise you need to get something out of the bottom. So we've put a partitioning shelf in here like so, so you can put a load of gear in the bottom, maybe even a big sleeping bag or the like, and then you can also access this top compartment here. Um, so yeah, great big rucksack, a medium sized ruckle that compactly uh, stores underneath a bed chair, and then the smaller one. Uh, this is quite a cool little bag. We've got a dedicated rucksack here, um, which we call the stash pack, uh, like so. Very, very simple, but it will also double up as a man bag. Now a lot of people laugh at me because I'm forever wearing one of these little man bags. They say it's a, a proper Essex thing. Uh, the reason I love using them is uh, when I've got my passport on me, my phone and stuff like that, it's very, very easily to end up jumping in the lake. In fact, I spend a hell of a lot of time either falling in the water or getting in the lake. So I like to be able to keep everything on my person in a little bag like this. You can store all your things in there safely. Should I get a take or need to get in the water, I can just throw that onto the banker and then get in the water accordingly. So a little security pouch that transforms into a rucksack. Uh, and of course the rods, and the flagship rods, the, the Black Ops rods, they have been really uh, ramped up this, this year. The blank has been changed, um, and as has the cosmetics. Um, really quite a modernised design, uh, quite radical in appearance, in that we've used this paracord uh, to wrap around the butt to give you maximum grip. Still got the carbon backstop, gone for a really nice understated matte black Alps reel seat. Of course, 1K finish, 
Mimma Pack Bay guides, 50 mil, all the way up to a Fuji anti-frap tip rig. So there are sort of flagship scope rods in the range and yeah, they really do look something impressive. Um, and along with those, the nine and 10 foot versions, you can also get a six foot version in the two and the three pound. Uh, and potentially for those guys that are traveling, we've got uh, a couple of new rods in the range. These are called the Scope Snides. So they're actually three, three piece rods. Again, work on the retractable butt technology. Um, and yeah, primarily designed for the guys that are potentially going away on board. They just want to take one rod with them in their hand luggage. And when they get on a family holiday, for example, still have the ability to go and do a little bit of fishing. And they come supplied in a nice hard case. Um, to finish off, We've got the sleep system, um, can purchase an additional shroud with a 10,000 hydrostatic head on it so those lads that are out there you know, in some pretty harsh conditions sleeping under the stars and stuff you never get wet and damp. Uh, and moving over here, new range of bobbins, um, bobbins now colour coordinate with any of the colours of the S5s, S5s or R3s in the range and they're also compatible with some of our existing products for example like the fibre optic light kit um, so when you uh, actually get a tape the bobbin glows up really, really nicely like so. Um, and, and a dedicated range of bankware to go with it. Um, everything from three different sizes of bank sticks, three different lengths of storm poles, some stage stands, uh, standard length, and also a real diddy one, stabilizers, buzz bars, really something for everyone, depending on what type of angling you're doing. Um, all of these come with a stainless steel point, either a straight point like this on the bank stick, or on the longer storm poles, you've got an arc of point to really work them into to some tough ground. Lovely new pocket pod, very, very compact, fits inside this tiny little bag here with your bite alarms and your butt rest still on it. So it's nice and quick and simple to set up when you get to your venue. Oh, uh, one last thing before I forget. Um, yeah, the Hyde XL, mega, mega product. Launched the Hyde last year. Um, I haven't looked back. I grew up fishing underneath an umbrella. Now I'd only ever use a product like this. Very, very fast to set up, extremely compact, extremely stable, but most importantly, it doesn't require the use of storm poles. And this is an XL version. Uh, much more headroom, uh, serves two purposes. It's easier to get in and out, but importantly, when you're sitting on your bed chair trying to view the water, you can easily see out. Uh, internally, it's got mesh vents in the back now, and it's also got this internal vapor shield here to eliminate some condensation. But it works in the same principle as the, the original hiding that should you wish you can zip in a mosquito mesh front or zip in a waterproof mesh front.